Welcome, Leo, to the training. Hello, I am excited to begin the training. Welcome, Ahmed, to the training. Good afternoon. I am ready to go. Today, we will be completing the component identification on the core electric forklift. It is just the three of us today, so let's get started. Welcome to the training center. Before we begin the identification, we need to make sure we have the correct PPEs. Ahmed, can you grab your PPEs first? Great, now I will grab my PPEs. I will start with my safety glasses, then my safety gloves, and finally my steel toe boots. Okay, Ahmed and Leo, now that we are at the forklift, the first step is to inspect the battery. Inspect the battery by looking at it until the bar completely fills. Now that we have inspected it, and there is clearly no visual damage, it is important to disconnect the battery before beginning any work on the forklift. Here on the watch menu, I can see each trainee, mute them, and I can also see which parts are left to identify. Leo, do not forget to open your watch before we start to identify the components. The first step to identifying components is to remove the floor mat and to remove the floorboard. Make sure to place your panels and boards away from the forklift. As you can see, when looking at each bolt, the contact system will tell you the bolt size. Let's remove these bolts. Oops, I used the wrong size ratchet. We need to use the 12 millimeter ratchet on these two bolts. Now we will remove this last floorboard. Do not forget, the tilt angle sensor is hidden behind this panel here. First, let's remove the panel, and then tap on the part to identify it. The lift pressure sensor detects the pressure of the lift circuit. The SAS system uses this value to determine the load on the unit. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't catch that. Can you show me where the load sensor is? This is the load sensor right here. Thank you. The main battery contactor serves as a switch to provide power to the traction controller, pump controller, and electrical systems. Leo, I can see you are missing quite a few components. Can I help you with any? Yes, I believe I need help locating the unload solenoid and accelerator potentiometer. <laughs> 